Welcome back to Caleb Chicken Pastures. We're a small family hatchery located in New Hampshire, specializing in a few select breeds, uh, primarily the Gold Death Layer. So if you were with us last time, I showed you the unpacking and setup of the Brisney 56 EX Connect. This is the full uh, Wi-Fi and app version of these great incubators. So I just wanted to come back and give a review, a quick update on how the hatch went and some suggestions that I have for improving what is already a great product uh, in the future. So if you watched my last video, you know that the app fully allows you to control the temperature, humidity, turning, cooling periods, and all the different features of the Brisney 56 incubator. Um, that was great. Uh, it's a lot easier actually to do it in the app than to do it on the uh, machine. Uh, while the machine is very easy to use, if you didn't have the Connect version, the 56 uh, Connect makes it that much easier to do that those things in the app, which I really like doing. Uh, I loved being able to kind of monitor and check in to see how things were going, check the humidity, check the temperature uh, to make sure things were up to date. We had a really great hatch rate. Um, I will bring you over and show you uh, just a few. Most of the birds have already gone to a friend of mine, uh, but here are a few of the suckers that are left. Uh, those are our gold death layers out there. We had a great hatch rate, over 80%, uh, which for these birds is a really, really great hatch rate. So I'm very excited about that. That is nothing new with the Brisney incubators. Uh, I find those incubators to be just phenomenal. Uh, really reliable, uh, great at controlling temperature and humidity. Uh, so that's nothing new. A uh, couple things that I'd say. So uh, overall, this incubator is as good as, if not better, uh, than the other Brisney incubators. Like I said, very reliable for temperature, very reliable as far as humidity goes. And it allows you to do it all within the app. Um, so great. I would highly recommend if you were looking for a new incubator, one of this size, uh, this would be one of the ones I would go with for sure. Uh, in fact, it's gonna be, uh, the Brisney incubators are probably gonna be the only ones we use this next hatching season. We've got three already. Uh, so they're definitely gonna be the ones that we're using just because they're so reliable. Couple of things that I'd like to see in the next version of the app. So uh, one is that when you go log into the app, you can see the actual uh, temperature and humidity. I'd like to see the actual versus the set temperature and humidity. Just to see if the incubator is still trying to reach that temperature level or the incubator is still trying to reach that humidity level uh, and see the differences there. So I'd like to see uh, that. I'd like to see a history. So um, I just, I use a separate uh, hydrometer and thermometer, a Govi product that allows you to track the history of temperature and humidity. I'd love to see that um, with the app in the future to see uh, if there's been a big drop, if there's been a big spike for whatever reason. So the historical data over the hatching period, uh, over that hatch, of the temperature and humidity, I think would be a cool feature to see. Uh, a reminder to go on lockdown uh, would be just a simple reminder that they could put in three days before the actual hatch. Hey, reminder, put your eggs into lockdown. Uh, just would allow uh, folks to sort of not have to set reminders in your phone or uh, be very vigilant about that. Another one they could do is a reminder for candling dates. Uh, at the 10-day mark or the 14-day mark or whenever uh, you wanted to set uh, to candle. So those would be a couple of uh, additions. And the last one that I'd like to see is, so uh, I did get a couple of power failure notices in this, but the power failure notices come back when the machine is back online. Now, my power failure notices were when I unplugged the machine to do my candling. So uh, they were, I, I didn't have a, a power failure that caused any concern, they were done by me. Uh, I would love a way, uh, for instance, when my cameras go offline, I get an immediate notification that my cameras are offline. So I can, 
you know, maybe make a determination of what to do next. Uh, I'd love that for the incubator. Uh, so whether that, I, I understand that might require a battery backup uh, of some kind. What would be really nice though, is to know at the onset of the power failure that I need to do something. That, you know, if we don't get to this pretty quickly, we might have a really low hatch rate compared to what it might be otherwise. So there's just a couple of quick suggestions uh, for the app in the future or uh, the, uh, the Connect version of the Brizzy incubators in the future. Overall, uh, super high grade, uh, as reliable as any other Brizzy products uh, and the ability to do it all within an app is just a phenomenal feature. It's definitely one of the incubators. Uh, and, and like I said, the only incubators we're probably gonna be using next year uh, so great product overall, uh, really strongly suggest that. I've got links in the description below to Brisbee products uh, and I appreciate you checking them out.